Hey guys, I'm Greg. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Let's go check out and see what's in the fridge today. Hi everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer comes from Ama Gang Brewery. They're out of Cooperstown, New York, guys. This is their Scythe and Sickle Harvest Ale, brewed with barley, wheat, oats, and rye. 5.8% alcohol on this one. Uh, it says here, Scythe and Sickle, oh, it's got the same thing written here. Scythe and Sickle is an amber ale brewed with a variety of malts, including... Malts including Pilsner, Rye, Flakes, and Oat Flakes for incredible depth of flavor and a hint of natural sweetness. It brings a new life and flavor to autumn beer lists traditionally filled with Oktoberfest and pumpkin ales. The flavors of the hard work of summer and the celebration of autumn harvest are captured in Siphon Sickle creating a unique but traditional Amagang farmhouse harvest ale. Huh, imagine that. <laughs> It is 5.8%. I think I told you that, guys. The food pairings for this one. The cuisine is Indian, Middle Eastern. The cheeses are nutty, Asiago, Colby, Parmesan, your tangy cheeses, brick, Adam, feta. And the meat for this is fish and shellfish. Glassware is tulip, oversized wine glass. I got the Duval glass. I don't know why they're asking for that glass with this low of an ABV. The style is technically called Beer de Garde. That is the style. That's what... Uh, Beer Advocate uh, says it is. So uh, let's see what it's called in the style here. It says specialty grain beer here in the right beer section. So we'll see, I'll see you about this. So let's get the cap off of this thing. I don't think there's anything we need to discuss. It does. I'm pretty sure it does. I can have a date on the label. I'm not exactly sure on the bottle. Anyway. Get your cap off this and the real nice cap on there. I got the Alma Gang lion on there or griffin or whatever they call that beast. And I don't want this to have a monster head and I think it is very effervescent. So we're going to let it go in easily. All right. Ooh. Very nice color, uh, fairly clear, and as I expected, a lot of bubbles screaming from the bottom of this beer. Very carbonated. We got us a good finger of a head on that very easy pour. If I'd poured that down the middle, it'd have overflowed and run all over the place. This is uh, this beer is very well carbonated, so just be aware of that and don't pour it super aggressive unless you want a five finger head. Uh, and they're still screaming up from the bottom. Wow, and still got us a good finger of a head there. Very orangey, very tangerine, very clear. I see the ball through the other side. Uh, just a slight chill haze on it. It's 40 degrees right out of the fridge, guys. Yeah, looks very good in the glass. Let's get a nose on it. I have not usually been disappointed by them again, good beers. They uh, do really good stuff. Uh, I'm getting just a little bit of banana. Uh, some wheat, a little bit of rye. Very, very much like a Belgian to me. Get a little bit of grapefruit in there and some lighter fruits like apple or pears. Smells very good. Like I said, the, most of the stuff they do uh, I like. So uh, some of it's not in my style and it's very different uh, to me, but they're very well made beers and. Uh, very tasty usually, so let's see how this one ranks, guys. Look at that head, just sticking around. Still got a good finger of head there. Already leaving lacing on the side of the glass where a little bit of the head has dissipated. Very nice. Cheers, everybody. That's very different. Very effervescent. 
very light on the tongue. A little bit of bananas, grapes. Wow, very tasty. Very interesting beer. A lot of stuff going on. Very tasty though. I mean, I don't see anything bad about it. It does have a nice bite to it though. But it's pleasant. Leaving awesome lacing around the glass there already. Wow. Guys, I'm going to let it warm up, let the other half taste it, and I'll come back and then we'll do the final check on this one. But definitely above average beer. I don't know if it's quite to the A category, but we'll see. I'm on the fence on this one. Stick around. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. Definitely the Belgian taste to me and tropical fruit like, I don't know, a mango and, and, and maybe some pears or apples or something like that, the lighter fruit. Very pleasant. Very nice. I'll check, guys. They had a little more than a final chug in there. Might have been two sips in that one. Uh, very tasty, guys. I'm not going to leave that in there either. Ah, look at that. Very nice lacing on the glass there. Feel like I poured it down my beard there. I'll enjoy that later, I guess. Very tasty, guys. It's very nice beer. I'm going to give it. I'm going to give it. I'm going to give it up into the eight, into the A's. Uh, I'm going to give it to eight, which is an A minus. I thought, it was, I thought it was pretty tasty, so uh, if you've had this one, give me some comments back on this and whether you liked it or didn't like it. Beer Advocate has this at 87, which is in their good range, and uh, uh, Rate Beer has 95 overall, which is some pretty good numbers, and 97 in style. So the guys over there like that one quite a bit, so reviews have uh, uh, turned in some good numbers. So I agree with that. I don't think it's quite, it's not quite to that state for me, but it's definitely an A beer, guys. Uh, this is a harvest sale. I'm pretty sure I don't have a date on the bottle that I can see now that the condensation is all off of it, guys. So, uh, pretty sure it's this year's edition, though. Anyway, if you've had this one, give me some comments back on this one, guys, whether you liked it, didn't like it, loved it. Mm, hit the like button if you like it, and let's look in the fridge. Hope tomorrow's beer is as good as this one. Join me then. See y'all.